One of the hottest new developments of 2024, if not one of the most transformational things to hit our generation was generative AI. And today I'm going to be walking you through a huge, huge update within the generative AI space that I believe is going to change the print on demand game for good and allow so many more people to play in the space and make crazy amounts of money in the space. I'll start by going over a refresher of how we can utilize generative AI and what it's historically been used for within print on demand. And then end the video with some crazy new applications that I could not be more excited to share because they are going to do crazy things for your shop. I know the generative AI as a term can be kind of scary. When I hear that, I run the opposite direction. However, I truly, truly believe that it is a tool that we should all be utilizing for print on demand as business owners, but also if you have another business, if you just have an Etsy shop, if you have your own Shopify store, all types of different businesses should be utilizing generative AI. It is free to use in a lot of circumstances and can speed up so many day-to-day -day businesses and tasks within your businesses that as a single business owner and doing everything on my own for the most part, except for outsourcing a few things, it has been a life changer for allowing me to grow and honestly keep up with the competition. We are getting to the space where if you're not starting to kind of understand this and see how it fits into your mix, you might get left behind which is kind of the purpose of this video, to make sure that you have the tips, tricks, and hacks to use this to work smarter, not harder. So one of the main names I'm gonna be talking about today is ChatGPT, which is owned by OpenAI. They launched in the last couple of years and have basically put out a model of generative AI that they've continued to kind of adapt upon that allows us to give it prompts and get text back. So the first thing I'm going to walk through is how we've been utilizing this technology for the last year or so, and, and a refresher on how you can do that too, to help just speed up everything across your business. And then I'll end the video by showing you a new development that can significantly increase your profit margins. So let's start by jumping right into it. This is what ChatGPT looks like. If you've never been on ChatGPT, head on over to chatgpt.com. This is a free resource for us to use. I would recommend and going ahead and eventually creating an account, signing up. And the reason I would recommend you do that is it will save a lot of your history. So let's say you ask it something and it gives you an answer and you forgot kind of what it says. You can go back in the future and see what that response was. The other really cool thing about creating an account is you can ask it to review the last responses and kind of the vibe for your business that you've already shared with it. And it will continue to learn from all the information that you've inputted. So it's not starting from scratch to kind of understand what we're trying to get it to do. It's utilizing all of the inputs you've given it. Kind of scary, I know, but I swear it's so, so powerful. So this is what it looks like. Go ahead and, and sign in different products. Once you've started to play around with ChatGPT for a longer period of time, you'll start to see what I can see here on my screen, which is the different types of projects I can save as well as prior information that I've saved here. So that way I can access that again. This is such a powerful tool for doing any of your little small tactical business hacks. Now I'll start by going over how this can be super helpful for an Etsy print on demand shop, a Shopify print on demand shop, as well as just a general business and marketing material perspective as well. If I was opening an Etsy print on demand shop, I would use this as my kind of business consultant to help me with all of those pieces of information that we need for our Etsy listings. So an example of how you might be able to use ChatGPT is to ask it to come up with a shop description that is based off of your brand. So what I've asked it to do here is please create a two sentence Etsy shop description for an apparel company for boy moms. Once I hit enter, it's gonna do its thing and it's gonna give you an example of what you might be able to put into your shop description here. And it'll ask you if you want to kind of change the vibe of this type of text. I'm gonna say, make it a little cheekier. And there it did it. For the mamas raising tiny tornadoes in backwards hats and muddy shoes, this shop's for you. Such a fun little kind of twist that just did exactly what I asked it to do. I gave it a little bit of brand inspiration and then it ran with it. So this is the type of thing that would have taken me, you know, maybe like 20, 30 minutes to just like brainstorm on, do a couple workshops on. You can ask it for literally three more examples or more and it would spit them out. So it speeds up that creative process so that way you're able to spend more of your dedicated time 
time to like actually running your business. The other great way that you can use this is this exact same type of process, but for doing your Etsy descriptions, for your Etsy titles. You can also ask it to craft your customer service responses. Like let's say you have a really difficult customer and you're not sure on what <laughs> you want to say to them. You can use this to craft those as well and create more of those informational pieces that go into your listing about your shipping times and all those different kind of text pieces. So it's always been a very good resource for that. So let's say you don't have an Etsy shop. So the specific like shop announcements and things aren't really jumping out to you, but maybe you have a Shopify store or your own.com or even just your own business in general. This can be super, super helpful for just generating landing page content, blog posts. You can use this for different kind of email marketing tactics that you send out captions for your TikTok videos, captions for Instagram. It has all of this data across millions and millions of pieces of information that it's going to be able to do a better job at helping you kind of craft that in a faster way and can generally spit out so much text that will help you with your brand. And the more that it learns off of your brand, it's going to be able to speak that in a voice that more closely matches the way that your brand is showing up to the customer. The other way that I've been utilizing ChatGPT for the last year or so is going to be helping with design inspiration. There's a lot of kind of concerns right now going on across is AI going to take over the world? And it's kind of scary because we're in this AI gold rush where nowadays you don't have to be a coder to create applications, to create websites, to create very techie types of things. And so it's a little bit scary on if you don't have to be a coder and have all this technical know-how, what does that mean in the long run for being able to create products and tech companies and all those different types of pieces? But I still think that we have to err on the side of human touch is very, very important here. While yes, AI is going to be able to be your buddy for being able to create ideas and kind of pressure test those ideas, it still needs a human touch to find the winners and portray that in a way that has like human taste tied to it. So that's how I use it for helping me generate design ideas. So an example of that is what I've typed in here, which is what are the most popular bachelorette themes? As all of us know that operate in the print on demand space, the bachelorette niche and group events is a huge profit driver. And so I've asked it to go ahead and take a look at the web and spit out some of the most popular themes. And it gives us right off the cuff, a ton of really great themes that we can already use if we were trying to make t-shirts and kind of get our creative juices flowing. But it goes a little bit further and it also gives you kind of design aesthetics tied to each of these themes, which is really fun. And it'll tell you kind of how you can adapt these themes for print on demand, even though we haven't specifically asked it to make these into print on demand designs. So once I'm kind of taking a look at all the different types of bachelorette themes that exist, I can ask it to go a little bit deeper. So what I've asked it to do is create some t-shirt slogans for the rodeo before the ring theme, which is really cute. I haven't even heard of that one. These should be different sayings that start with the most likely to wording. Please give me at least 20 different design ideas that are Western cowgirl themed, but also modern. And the reason I'm starting with this most likely to I'm taking a look at what's happening in the bachelorette niche and it didn't spit out different things for most likely to, but I know as somebody that does a lot of trend research that during the holiday season, a lot of the best sellers are those family t-shirts that will say, it'll have like an elf theme and it'll be most likely to eat all the Christmas cookies and everybody ends up buying one. And it's super funny because everybody has like their own t-shirt. It's that human inspiration that we still tie here with AI that can really help us with print on demand. So what it will do is it will spit out a ton of really, really cute slogans. I love some of these. Most likely to steal the cowboy's hat, super cute. Most likely to lasso a stranger. Most likely to say, this ain't my first rodeo. So just really, really fun types of slogans that could very easily be made into a bulk uh, bachelorette rodeo before the ring t-shirt design that I can see performing really well and showing up all over the streets of Nashville. I mean, most likely to outdrink a cowboy. Super, super funny. 
I can ask it to find a few for the bride as well. And on top of that, it'll ask you like, what more can I do for here? I can whip up more slogans, bundle ideas, or even bride plus crew shirt sets and make a whole collection. And so what I've done is I've given it kind of an inspiration t-shirt on a specific t-shirt on Etsy that is performing super well, driving $20,000 per month in revenue and asked it to give us an inspiration to create shirt sets with some designs. And here's that inspiration photo. Not to say that we're gonna do this exact but it spits out a mock-up of something that we can then go and create into Canva or Kittle to then use that for our own print-on-demand shop. But they also offer a pro plan that is $20 per month that just gives you essentially like more credits. The image piece of this, you'll run out of those images if you want to generate them kind of soon and it'll downgrade back to an older model. So if you're really serious about playing around with generating images, then I would recommend upgrading, not sponsoring anything like that. But it is something that I have found useful in generating all these cool ideas that I'm coming up with. And I don't wanna bury the lead here where I think this is going to be an insanely powerful tool, is going to be in creating personalized goods. Historically speaking, if you wanted to create a personalized good, you'd have to be a designer. You'd have to be somebody that can edit and tweak something and then put it into a different design style. These tools that we are about to embark upon and I'm going to show you are making it so much easier to take an existing image that you could get from a customer and make it completely different, add a different artistic style and allow that personalized element to then be printed onto a print on demand product or offered as a digital good if that's something that you want to do. What's still very, very tricky about generative AI is the prompting. You have to give the context to the system to then spit out something that closely resembles that. And so that's the trickiest piece of prompting generative AI and prompting ChatGPT is knowing what to put as that prompt so you can get out what you put in. And so the secret tool that I love playing around with is this little tool called Sora. Sora is basically a, think of it as like a Pinterest, but for ChatGPT, and it allows you to kind of scroll through and explore all types of different things that people are creating. Right now, you're probably seeing a ton of these little like action figure images all across your social all across your social media. And that's generated by ChatGPT of being able to come into ChatGPT, give it a different prompt and spit something else out. And so for example, what you can do is you can click onto these images and you can see what the prompt is. So it'll tell you exactly what is the prompt for this design. So that way you could edit it, tweak it and remix it, or just see what that is for your own generation if you're thinking about kind of making something similar in the future. So it's kind of like having backend access to how people created these really, really cool designs. And keep in mind here that as of now, we're in this kind of crazy space where whatever you design with ChatGPT and with generative AI, as long as it's your prompt and you're making edits to that prompt and you're you're deploying that and you're not just selling a prompt, that is absolutely able to be utilized for commercial usage. And so I would obviously stay I would obviously stay away from anything that is trademarked or, you know infringes on somebody's intellectual property and, and has you know a recognizable figure attached to it, but really, really cool to kind of see what people are generating and the exact prompts that got them to that example. And so here's an example that somebody just uploaded an image and said, cartoonify this picture. And this is where I think it's going to really take the print on demand world by storm if you're interested in having a little bit of a heavier lift we see huge bestsellers on Etsy and large companies being personalized images of taking an image and making it a little bit cartoony and having it be printed onto a mug, whether that's like a dog mug or different pieces like that. This could be a super cute couple's gift that you could kind of take of a couple sitting next to each other and then you say cartoonify this and you print it back on a canvas or something like that for that couple. The opportunities are quite endless here. And there's one example that I thought was super great that I'll walk you through and show you exactly how it works. So you can kind of favorite things in this platform and then you can come back to it later on. So I found this really, really funny image on Sora that shows this like dog and it kind of is a magazine type of cover. And instead of being Vogue, it's Dog, which 
super funny. People love pet images. And we can look at the prompt here that says realistic portrait of a brown Australian shepherd dog as a high fashion model on the cover of Dogue magazine. Fitting minimalist background, professional photography, no text except for the magazine title. So what we can do here is you're actually able to remix this prompt with your own information. And all I said was, please swap the Aussie for the dog in this photo. This is my fiance's parents' dog, Sammy. And this is what it spit out. It literally spit out, like this is the dog, that's Sammy. It looks a little bit younger, but for the most part, it took this personalized image, not even that great of a photograph, and was able to remix it for the specific dog. This is something that I could then export, go over to Printify, Put it on all types of different products, whether that be wall art, a mug, a t-shirt, whatever you would like to kind of put that on and sell this as a print on demand product. That's huge. So this is just one single application of how you can use these tools. And I cannot be more excited for what this means. Of course, it's gonna take a little bit more elbow grease to create this design, but there's plenty of inspiration that you're able to take from what's being generated right now. And I really do feel like this is the gold rush for print on demand if you're willing to put in that work and do something a little bit different that you cannot just go down to the store and buy, which so huge. Hopefully this was helpful. If this is something that you have found interesting, please like and subscribe for more content like this.